As kids, we dreamt of growing up to become like our favorite fictional characters. But for many talented, creative individuals out there, those dreams aren't so far from reality. From superheroes and supervillains to Jedi and Pokemon, the array of characters brought to life in the costumed world of cosplay seemingly knows no bounds. So let's check out some costumes that take cosplay to the next level. In a galaxy not so far away, a certain fan base has really hit the jackpot when it comes to finding unique characters to recreate. Including everyone in the expanded Star Wars universe, there's an astronomical 21,647 characters, covering approximately 36,000 years of storyline. Boasting one of the most unique and intimidating designs in the universe, few characters are more difficult to cosplay than the cybernetic commander himself, General Grievous. The general's slender robotic body and hunched posture seems impossible to cosplay. And so, this cosplay by Rob Rogers of Wicked Armor Cosplay is next level. Not just because it's an almost perfect replication of the fully CGI Grievous, but because the entire character can be controlled by the cosplayer. The galactical get-up functions more like a puppet than a costume, disguising the wearer's legs within Grievous's billowing cape while his robot legs are attached to their feet. The concealed cosplayer even wears a headband that controls the puppet's head. Made mostly from plastic with resin details, the costume is extremely lightweight and can be maneuvered easily enough to best any Jedi in combat. A truly out-of-this-world cosplay. General Rob Rogers, You are a bold one. Speaking of impossible-looking limbs, Wicked Armor isn't the only Star Wars cosplay collective out there with the leg up above the rest. Trading Maul's iconic two-ended lightsaber for two mammoth robot legs, this amazing Darth Maul cyborg cosplay was created by former stuntman Justin Lucky McQueed. Backed by a talented team of textile troopers, the result is a masterclass in costume making. The cosplay is inspired by Darth Maul's cybernetic legs, featured in the Clone Wars TV show, which were acquired by the Sith in the aftermath of losing his lower half to the hands of Obi-Wan Kenobi. Justin's cyborg armor is largely constructed with EVA matte foam and includes stilts to raise him to a galactically intimidating height. Most definitely in possession of the high ground, this epic cosplayer can even walk up and down stairs in full mall get-up thanks to his previous work as a stunt performer. Maybe he'd have fared better against Master Obi-Wan. They say that only a Sith deals in absolutes, and this Darth Bane cosplay created by the Clone Emperor had everyone at the 2013 Wizard World in Chicago absolutely starstruck. The Clone Emperor walked away with the title Best in Show after constructing the intimidating mask and armor using sculpted foam and cast molds that were painted precisely in the Sith Lord's iconic purple and gold. First mentioned in the novelization of Star Wars Episode I, The Phantom Menace, Darth Bane was one of the most powerful Sith Lords in existence around 1,000 years before the Clone Wars. His orbalisk armor is a suit made of near-invincible parasites with very hard shells, which can be seen in the immensely detailed costume. From Star Wars villains to starfish villains now, when you think of a menacing bad guy, an evil starfish may not be what comes to mind. And while he may look oddly cute from afar, DC supervillain Starro's most terrifying ability is most definitely his facehuggers. They can be emitted as an extension of himself and cling on to a human's face, taking over their mind. One DC fan that is definitely in control of their own mind, though, is fan artist Jose Madera, who set himself the task of recreating one of Starro's face suckers for his latest cosplay creation in October 2021. Debuting his creation on his Instagram page, PR Props, Jose based his design off the Starro seen in James Gunn's 2021 movie The Suicide Squad, in which the killer starfish makes his first silver screen appearance. Jose's facehugger mask was created using monster clay, the premium grade modeling clay used by just about all serious cosplayers. An oil based clay that hardens at room temperature, monster clay can be softened and manipulated easily by applying heat before sculpting. 
After the sculpting process, Jose created a mold using silicon and finally cast the mask in plastic. The mask was painted using a combination of acrylic and airbrush paints before being finished with a gloss varnish to emulate the slippery nature of Starro's facehuggers. Talk about an eye for detail. The precise paint job on that big eye really has to be seen to be believed. And what's more, that sphere enclosing the iris is actually one half of an acrylic Christmas ornament. While Jose may be left blind when he's cosplayed up, everyone who slaps their peepers on this creation are sure to be left well and truly starry-eyed. From cosmic stars to a breathtaking case of smoke and mirrors, one of Spider-Man's powerful adversaries, Mysterio, might seem pretty impossible to cosplay without the help of special effects, especially considering the movie adaptation of the character. Mysterio's powers largely rely on tricking the eye, so it only seems natural that a master of illusion should take on this ambitious costume. Though Tilly Murray, also known as Angry Plain Jane, created her own female version of Mysterio, fishbowl head included. Adapted from several comics and iterations of the character, Otilly's otherworldly cosplay took over 300 hours to put together. The bodysuit was hand-painted with Mysterio's diamond pattern, and Otilly installed a fan into the back of the helmet that constantly funnels in fresh air and keeps the back of her neck cool. Even more ingeniously, the fog emitting from the costume's gauntlets comes from a series of small vape tanks filled with vegetable glycerin. The result is a dense yet totally safe fog that emits from air pumps installed and concealed beneath the armored forearms of the costume. To recreate Mysterio's fishbowl head, Otilly sprayed some mirror effect paint over some super lightweight polycarbonate that she can actually see through while wearing the headpiece, as you can see in the test sheet here. While Otilly might not be in possession of real magic powers, she's certainly mastered the art of smoke and mirrors. The Carnage symbiote is one of the most horrifying creatures in the Marvel Universe, terrifying both heroes and villains alike. Since its deadly debut in 1992, fans of this lethal parasite have set about creating darker versions of their favorite heroic or villainous hosts. This mid-transformation cosplay by Instagram artist Rika3105 encapsulates the pure evil essence of Carnage. Wearing a red bodysuit covered with black vein-like tendrils, the details on this Carnage cosplay are truly skin-crawling, looking like the symbiote is midway through spreading across her face. Uh, let's get out of here before it fully takes over, shall we? At this point, it seems more appropriate to call these costume creators cospros, because these guys certainly aren't playing around with their cosplays. Unless they're gaming, that is. Thanks to its colorful universe steeped in Norse mythology, the God of War series is a popular choice for gaming cosplay fans. Many players are sure to remember 2018's installment in the series for, among countless other things, the challenging Valkyrie bosses. Often listed as one of the toughest enemies in the fourth installment, Hildur is encountered amidst a deadly poison mist in Niflheim's maze, where it's a little difficult to get a proper look at just how striking the Valkyrie really is. Thankfully, one superfan cosplayer, Mary Le Fay, created this stunning costume that shows Hildur in all her blue and gold glory. Taking a full six months to finish, this jaw-dropping cosplay features numerous textures and finishes, with Mary having handcrafted every single part of this amazing getup. Detail is king when it comes to cosplays like this one, and Mary created Hildur's eerie face covering out of a lightweight resin cast from a perfectly sculpted clay mold. The mask itself even has magnets attached, meaning that Mary can easily and seamlessly put it on or take it off. Mary recreated Hilder's impressive blue wings meanwhile using foam. With a combined wingspan that reaches 13 feet, these angelic wings move with the help of simple electrical actuators, bringing the total weight of the costume to 26 pounds. This cosplay is so god-tier that it flew Marie into the ultimate online cosplay competition finals in 2021. And while gods and Valkyries are certainly powerful, you can embrace a power of your own by opting to fill your mind with amazing facts about the world we live in. Fly on over to those like and subscribe buttons and tap that bell icon so that you're always ahead of the rest with the latest fascinating knowledge on just about everything. Now back to the costumes we go. 
Another godly gaming getup, this father-daughter pair looked ready for action as they stepped out for Halloween as Master Chief and Spartan II from the beloved Halo franchise. These costumes are so impressive that the pair even caught the attention of Halo franchise co-creator Marcus Leto, who stumbled across the image on Twitter in November 2021. These two costumes took 14 months to complete and were made entirely of meticulously cut, sculpted, and painted foam flooring tiles. With the wear and tear effect on the costumes, this dad-daughter duo can sport the battle-worn scars worthy of the most epic Halo heroes. One way to stand out from the crowd at any convention is to turn up as a lesser-known or underrated character. One of Aquaman's most menacing villains, Black Manta, hasn't yet made a name for himself as a super common cosplay option, but this design is so good, it might just trigger some changes. Black Manta, complete with his oversized saucer head, was brought to life by Patrick Benson, aka P Doggy Cosplay. Most of this costume was constructed from EVA foam, making it very lightweight and relatively comfortable. Black Manta's menacing red eyes are one of the most important aspects of his character, and Patrick went hard on the details and actually constructed Manta's blinkers using shards from red protein powder tubs, benching himself up among the heavyweights of cosplay. While supplies like glue and EVA foam have become commonplace in the world of cosplay, creators like P Doggy Cosplay prove that you can use just about anything to create an outstanding piece. As we've already seen, cosplayers are truly a force to be reckoned with. But when not one, but two cosplay collectives join forces, that's when you know things are truly about to hit next level. This Batman costume, based on the Arkham Origins suit, was created by cosplay specialists Gauntlet FX in collaboration with Creature and Effects Studio Order 66 in Galway, Ireland. Both teams are Batman enthusiasts, having created multiple suits and accessories between the two. But this suit took things further. Not only does the Dark Knight's beastly getup look awesome, but the guys at Order 66 created a multitude of functioning gadgets that are completely integrated as part of the suit. There's a Bluetooth Batarang tracking beacon that can be tracked using an iPhone, a grappling gun, and presumably non-functional ball-bearing grenades, among 20 more accessories. Complete with 23 practical gadgets in total, Order 66 flew straight into the 2017 Guinness Book of World Records for the most functional gadgets in a Batman costume. They're all so awesome that I really hope no one comes robbing them on some dark night. <sighs> I'll see myself out. Despite the endless plethora of characters to cosplay as, nothing will make you stand out more than a completely original idea like this. These unique monsters were inspired by the Land Striders from the 1982 movie The Dark Crystal, as well as the work of renowned filmmaker Hayao Miyazaki and Studio Ghibli. Dubbed the Stilt Spirits, these creepy costumes were created for Halloween in 2010 by husband and wife team Garen and Melissa Irwin. The Stilt Spirits costume's lanky appearance was achieved with the help of circus peg stilts for the legs and extra-large medical crutches for the arms. Melissa even released a 22-page tutorial that provides an illustrated step-by-step -step guide on her Etsy store for fans to construct their very own stilt spirit. Lots of people have followed in Garen and Melissa's medical crutched footsteps and made their own versions of stilt spirits, which just goes to show that you don't have to be a Hollywood bigwig to create truly iconic characters. Speaking of icons, Pokemon has been a popular choice for cosplayers everywhere since the franchise made its debut in February 1996. As of 2022, there are 898 Pokemon species, as well as a whole host of iconic human characters to go alongside them. After Pikachu, Charizard might be the Pokemon most closely associated with the series protagonist Ash Ketchum and UK-based cosplayer and prop maker Little Gem brought this iconic duo to life at the UK's MCM Comic-Con in Birmingham in November 2021. While Little Gem's Ash costume was more than recognizable, it was the Charizard half of the duo, with its LED-lit mouth spewing vapor that really had fans warming to it. 
Returning to the world of superheroes now, where a lot of comic book characters have extremely complex designs, so much so that even billion-dollar Hollywood studios turn to the magic of CGI for many characters. One such character is Ultron of the Marvel Universe, who was brought to life through computer VFX in the 2015 movie Avengers Age of Ultron. But in the real world, a cosplay group known as Village's Hope swapped hard drives for hard work and created this truly tangible and jaw-dropping Ultron cosplay. Complete with two sentries flanking him on either side, it's hard to believe that there are human beings beneath these suits. While the Marvel Cinematic Universe's Ultron concluded that mankind's immediate extinction was the best thing for Earth, seeing the work of the village's hope might have convinced him that humans can actually be pretty awesome. Despite looking like real metal, these suits were made almost entirely of painted foam, with leather accents as well as a multitude of LED light cables that weave throughout the exposed parts of the robotic armor. The result is a master design that even Tony Stark would be proud of, if he were still around. <sighs> that said, Mr. Stark can still be encountered at comic conventions around the world. Topping many lists as fans' favorite Avenger from the MCU, Iron Man suits are always a cornerstone for cosplayers. There are a lot of very impressive and authentic-looking takes on Tony Stark's alter ego, but some creators also seem to possess his mad skills for invention. Wayne Berendison of Wayne's Workshop found a new hobby in cosplay and prop making back in 2015 and created this mega Iron Man cosplay in 2016 after six months of dedicated craftsmanship. Wayne has a background in electronics, so quickly found his niche in the world of cosplay as the go-to guy for electrical gizmos inspired by sci-fi and comic series. Wayne's metal creation took six months to make and is based on Stark's Mark 39 Star Booster suit that made a brief appearance in Iron Man 3 and again in the 2020 Marvel Avengers game. Wayne's take on Stark's spacesuit includes some astronomically cool features, including a moving mask, arm blasters that shoot out vapor, as well as vapor shooting rocket boosters installed on the back. The hands were 3D printed and the rest of the suit's exterior was crafted using foam and resin. Best of all, the suit's arc reactor includes a USB port that is capable of charging phones a superpower I think we could all use to stay fully charged on our missions to save the Earth, which of course, must be fully live-tweeted. This cosplay is powered with a rechargeable lithium polymer battery, and there are hidden switches all over the suit that control different features. Tony Stark designed the Star Booster for off-Earth missions, so it seems a fitting choice for Wayne's out-of-this-world cosplay skills. Another favorite to come from the Marvel Universe, it comes as no surprise that Spider-Man is one of the most frequently cosplayed heroes out there. With a multiversal multitude of suits, as seen in the comics, movies, TV shows, and games, the possibilities for cosplay are truly endless. This Iron Spider made its debut at Stuttgart Comic Con 2021, showing off its web-slinging skills to a whole host of other villainous characters, from Venom to a pair of Stormtroopers. Created by Marvel fanatic Magma Ren, this creation of one of the most epic Spidey suits to date is based on the suit seen in Avengers Infinity War, after it was gifted to Peter at the end of Homecoming by Tony Stark. With four new limbs, Magma Ren made sure their creation of this suit was not only spider by name, but spider by nature, amounting to eight legs altogether. While the Iron Spider is complete with all kinds of secret capabilities, there's no secret in recognizing Magma Ren's superpowers for cosplay construction. Arguably Spider-Man's ultimate nemesis, the Green Goblin is iconic for a reason. Willem Dafoe's cult performance of the maniacal split personality of Norman Osborn and Gobby cemented the villain as a favorite among fans, so it's no wonder he's a top choice for cosplayers. This menacing creation was posted on Reddit by Expression Kitchen, who based their take on the supervillain on Defoe's costume. This crafty cosplayer reused a heroic 2011 Green Lantern suit from renowned costume producer Sim Cosplay to act as an undersuit to his purple EVA foam armor. Compared with the version worn by Willem Defoe in the Sam Raimi Spider-Man trilogy, 
This cosplay adds a sprinkling of the color palette seen on Gobby in the original comics. Well, do each his own. Changing hue from green to blue now, another infamous Spider-Man adversary, Electro, as he appears in 2014's Amazing Spider-Man 2, seems completely impossible to recreate in the real world. But one cosplayer shed light on just how it can be done. This charged-up Electro cosplay displays a masterclass in body painting, with this guy actually looking shockingly like Jamie Foxx as he appeared in the movie. Unlike the questionable CGI effects on Electro in his silver screen debut, this cosplay is impossible to feel blue about. Another member of the Blue Crew, this cosplay of Apocalypse from the X-Men series, scorched the earth at San Diego Comic-Con in 2014. Created by students of the Los Angeles-based Cinema Makeup School, this project featured actor and FX artist Nick Ignis as the one inside the immense getup which elevated him from 6 feet to 7 feet once fully suited up. With his head entirely covered in body paint and prosthetics, he mimicked Apocalypse's menacing frown and sculpted features with eerie accuracy. The entire process took around four months to complete, all inspired by classic X-Men comic book images of Apocalypse. It took the makeup team around two hours to apply the facial makeup on the day, and all the prosthetics combined added a colossal 70 pounds for Mick to bear. While Apocalypse is often hailed as the X-Men's most powerful adversary, the cinema makeup school's apocalyptic dedication to the craft of cosplay is a force to be reckoned with all of its own. As we've seen, there are a lot of cosplayers out there that take costume design to the next level. But this next creature creation takes the next level to the next level. Hardigan Cosplay's recreation of Bolvar Fordrigan from World of Warcraft took a hammering 638 hours to finish, constructed with EVA foam, foam clay, latex, and over a thousand LED lights. Suiting up takes around 12 minutes to complete with a bit of assistance, but once it's all on, it truly is a spectacle to behold. 2021's virtual BlizzCon, dubbed BlizzConline, saw Hardigan show off his beastly bulvar and ended in him winning awards for both Best Cosplay and Best in Show. Hardigan's bulvar is about as close to the in-game character as you can get, without taking a fiery hammer to the face, complete with an intimidating orange glow and smoke effects that radiate from beneath the skin. With this stunning costume, Hardigan truly has cemented himself as one of the high lords of cosplay. Which of these amazing cosplay creations was your favorite? Are you inspired to create your own next level costume? Hey, let me know down in the comments below, and thanks for watching.